Welcome back to Android Security. In this lesson in the Securing Application Code chapter, you will learn about obfuscation, the Android R8 compiler, and APK optimization. Let's start. R8 is the default compiler that converts your project's Java bytecode into the DEX format that runs on the Android platform. Shrinking, obfuscation, and code optimization is not enabled by default. Let's take a look at the required changes to enable shrinking, obfuscation, and optimization. Notice that the following build variables are set for the release build only. The debug build needs to be debuggable and shouldn't be optimized. If minify enabled is set to true, R8 detects and safely removes unused code from your app to shrink the final size. If shrink resources is set to true, unused resources are removed from your compiled app. Keep in mind that resource shrinking works only in conjunction with code shrinking. After the code shrinker removes all unused code, the resource shrinker can identify which resources the app still uses. The purpose of obfuscation is to obscure names and reduce your app size by shortening the names of your app's classes, methods, and fields. In this example, the context field M context has been renamed to Hey, and the Boolean field M show title has been renamed to capital P. Obfuscation can be an effective way of thwarting static analysis. Obfuscated code is still reversible, but it is difficult for the attacker to read and trace. Obfuscation can also break certain APIs, most notably those that use reflection, and therefore rely on class names remaining unchanged. In this example, setBar is a method in Java that is being invoked in native C code using JNI. As you can see, getMethodID, a JNI helper function, requires the name of the method as a string. If we would have renamed setBar, the C call would have to know somehow about the new name. A developer can specify a keep pro guard rule for the set bar method in a configuration file. Alternatively, a developer can add the keep annotation to a class, method, or field they want to keep. R8 uses configuration files to define pro guard rules that modify the default compilation behavior. Most of the pro guard rules deal with this case by indicating what references R8 should leave alone. The ProGuard Android Optimize file adds flags that turn off various optimizations known to have issues. It also adds system-specific keep rules. For example, the following rule wants to keep methods in activity that could be used in the XML attribute on click. It does that by asking to keep the listed class members of any class that extends an activity. This means that any methods in that class that takes a view as a single input will keep its name. More aggressive optimization can be enabled by setting Android Enable R8 full mode to true in your Gradle.properties file. After R8 obfuscates your code, understanding a stack trace is difficult. Fortunately, R8 creates a mapping.txt file each time it runs, which contains the obfuscated class, method, and field names mapped to the original names. To decode an obfuscated stack trace yourself, use the retrace command line tool which is bundled with the command line tools package. Many third-party analytics and crash reporting services will accept the mapping.txt file and decode user crash logs for you. There are tools such as DexGuard from the makers of ProGuard that can add extra layers of security. These tools can offer additional obfuscation features, such as encryption of Dex strings, resources, assets, native libraries, and Java classes. These tools can also hide method calls, detect app modifications, and scrub debug logs.